aim of applied theoretical chemistry is to relate some known properties of a substance in quantitative or qualitative way to desired target properties. For this purpose, a model is introduced which correlates the known data with the target properties. Each model requires some parameters which define the interaction between particles, atoms and or molecules. Here we show the development and the parameterization of a model for the specific case of proton conductors. In the first video we show the result of a quantum chemical calculation. The frequencies and charge of these and other chem quantum chemical calculations was used to parameterize our model. Another important source of data for our model have been neutron scattering data. In the video, one of the vibrations of a model system is animated. The model system is chosen as perfluorosulfonic acid, which are coming from membranes. For example, Nafia. Aim of the work was the development of a classical model which allows the bond formation and bond breaking for the proton transfer between hydronium and water. We checked the ability of the newly developed model for the reaction hydronium plus water goes to water plus hydronium. In the beginning of the video, one hydronium and one water molecule are marked. During the simulation, the two molecules come close. After some forward and backward vibrations, finally the proton is transferred, which proves the ability of the new reactive force field to describe bond formation and bond break. This clip shows the influence of the acidic groups of the membrane to the proton conductivity. The extension of the reactive force field to the hydroxyl groups of the membranes allow us to simulate the dissociation process of these groups. By a slight change of the bond strength within the hydroxyl, any desired acid can be simulated. In the video, we show a clipping of two zirconium phosphate layers with water in between. One water molecule is marked. During the simulation, the water molecule jumps time by time to a new position. Till the end, it loses both inertial hydrogens to bind to other three hydrogens. Here we investigate a possible soliton mechanism as reason for the extraordinary high proton conductivity in persulfonic acids. A comparison of the diffusion coefficient and the conductivity suggests a special mechanism for the proton conductivity. Solitons are a special kind of waves which can transport kinetic energy charges and light for long distances without energy loss. Common examples are tsunamis and optical fibers. Solitrons can be studied by non-equilibrium molecular dynamics. One particle is excited in, and the distribution of the excess energy is studied as function of the time. In the video, one hydrogen is strongly elongated in the beginning. During the simulation, the energy is transferred to other water molecules and the membrane remains nearly unchanged. 
in the end, all the water uh, network is completely destroyed, and this results suggest a solid mechanism. Thank you.